On this episode of Game Shack, Arcade 1UP has yet another snafu in customer relations, while At Games has a big St. Patrick's Day weekend sale, all that and more coming up next. Hey everybody, welcome all back into the Game Shack. I'm your host, JDV for EvilGeniusEntertainment.com. Thank you for stopping by the Game Shack. Okay, well, this story just kind of broke in the last 48 hours, 24 hours, something like that. I saw it over on P-Dub's video, which you can check out there. It kind of breaks the whole thing down. Long short of it is the, the Rexer from Rexer Show. Uh, apparently got hold of an email from Arcade 1UP, which indicates that they are willing to send out free cabinets to much bigger YouTubers than anybody in this kind of community is, as long as they uh, follow a whole bunch of steps. Now, I get sent free things all the time, or at least I'm offered to get uh, sent free things all the time. Again, if I do X, Y, and Z, I almost always refuse doing that because I don't want anything to cloud my judgment when I review a product. Now that doesn't mean I won't not take a product to review for free if they send it to me, but it, there can be no strings attached. I won't do it if there's a, a, any kind of strings attached at all to it. And there were lots of strings attached out if they want to get these cabs. Everything from you can't say bad things about our competitors uh, to when they had to place the video of the machine in there, a whole lot of other things. And really what it just smacked of is kind of censorship or pay to play type of thing. Like we give you this and this, and then you give us a nice review. Now I'm not saying that's exactly what happened, um, but it sure does feel that way. And, and it's an odd thing because A, this company has made a lot of money off of these products up for the last five years, they've sold millions of units. And even if they've only made $50 per unit, well, figure it out, that's a whole lot of money. And second thing is if you make a good product, you should not care who reviews it. You should not need to put any restrictions on there. So for instance, if you make a brand new Ford F-150 that absolutely dominates everything in its class, you should not be afraid to let car and driver or consumer reports have a copy of that car or let them see the car because again, you don't have anything to be afraid of. Same thing in the camera industry, TV industry, uh, anything that is sort of a higher end consumer electronic or other type product. If you make a good product, people will come. And when you look at these new deluxe arcade cabinets, they look pretty good. It does look like they do have a BOE screen in them. Again, we don't know for sure because apparently the only ones who have copies of these uh, have stolen copies. So I've been a little unwilling to put video of those up, but it does look like they're gonna have the BOE screen. And we already knew that they were gonna be a good looking cab anyway without a riser and all that. I mean, I certainly do wanna have one, but I suppose the really interesting thing isn't that Arcade One Up wants to control the narrative of, of over their machines, as is so much of who they decide to send these machines to. They didn't decide to send those machines to Michael B or P-Dubs or me or B Kong or Rexer or any of the other people who Glenn or any of the other people who do videos like this on a regular basis. People who are very invested in these type of machines because this is our hobby. And we've done lots of reviews. I've done over a hundred type of videos. A lot of them are on Arcade 1UP products. And none of us, as far as I know, received an email. Now you can look at that one or two ways. One, well, they're kind of afraid to send it to us because we're going to shoot it straight. We're going to say, hey, you know, the controller deck is messed up or these joysticks are jank or these buttons are even worse than the last set or no, it's not a BOE screen or the marquee is washed out or the speaker sound tiny or whatever. This is the group of people, this is the group of YouTubers who know this subject best because we know the subject best. If you send it out to a larger corporation, like something like CNET or something like that, they're gonna review it with perhaps eyes that are not as sophisticated and certainly without the general knowledge that we all have of these machines. It's just another indication that Arcade One Up really doesn't care all that much about the home hobbyist. Yes, they'd be happy for you to buy their cabinets, of course, they're not gonna say no to us, but neither are they gonna do anything uh, that really directly appreciates us. We're never gonna have a customer appreciation day, or at least we haven't up to now. There's no, hey, you bought our first generation legacy cab and our second generation uh, cab, and we know that you have, so here's $50 off the next cab, or here's $100 off the next cab, or hey, if you trade in that cab, we'll give you this next cab for $200, and then we're gonna donate that other cab 
to charities. There's nothing at all like that. There's nothing like, uh, okay, so you've owned those first uh, two generations of legacy cabs. Here is an extra game. Here's a game that was not previously on the cab. Nothing. There's nothing like that at all coming from Arcade 1UP. And by kind of short-circuiting out the people who are most likely to give you the best and honest reviews of these new products by kind of cutting them off uh, out of the circle, so to speak, in terms of getting early review units, that does indicate to me that A, they don't care about the what we think about them at all, and they don't seem very willing to change that position. Well, changing subjects a little bit, but kind of staying on the same subject, At Games just announced that they are going to have a St. Patrick's Day weekend customer appreciation sale where a whole bunch of their products are going to be on sale up to, I think, 60% off, 58% off, something like that. So if you missed uh, the National Owner's Day um, event that, that happened, I think, just three weeks ago, something like that, but if for whatever reason you have missed out on their sale from their National Owner's Day three weeks ago, now's the time to go over there and just take a peek and see if there's anything that sparks your fan fancy. In terms of how Arcade 1UP has treated the community, I think that they've done a very excellent job. They sent us out a um, kind of a graph how they've increased the amount of people who deal with um, uh, tickets that need to be uh, cured, you know, something's gone wrong with the machine, something's not working right, so they've really increased their staff in terms of how they deal with that. I have always found them to be a very responsive company. Way back when, way before I ever did any videos on video games, they were very kind to me, very generous to me in terms of uh, sending me out a board for my ALU Gen 1 machine that wasn't working right, and I did not buy the game new. I bought it used, and they still did that. So I've always thought that they've been at the top of the game in terms of customer relations, and they continue to do so by their transparency, by telling us, hey, we're coming out with a new generation of ALU and ALP, so save your money, you know, save up your money for that product if you want it, or you can buy the boards for it now if you can't wait. So anyway, bottom line, if you missed National Owner's Day sales, you can still jump in and get some sales this St. Patrick's Day weekend. All right, a little bookkeeping before I wrap up the show. I know I promised you guys uh, my 4K pinball build. Uh, a whole bunch of things came up in the last two months that just sort of stopped that whole project dead. I'm going to re-kick, restart that project hopefully real soon. I'm actually very close to being done with the build. So hopefully you're going to get some things on that. But the very first thing I'm going to do is actually give you guys five tips for how to buy a used real world pinball game. I'm going to do that first just in case you're interested in doing that. All right, so that's going to wrap up this episode. If you uh, like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up on the way out the door. I guess it really does help channels like this. Uh, subscribe if you haven't hit, done so. Hit the notification bell so you know when videos like this come out. And, you know, love each other. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.